Night three of the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio were intense, to say the least. <laughs> I'm Ariana Kukers. I'm Carolyn Joyce. And I'm still shaking, sweating, excited about everything that went down tonight in the pool. All the feels. <laughs> All the feels tonight. Okay, so let's start out with the men's 200 freestyle. We had Connor touch third in a bronze medal. Yeah, Connor getting that bronze medal. A huge swim for him. I think he played that race really, really well. So happy for that. Townley, another great time for him. Not on the yeah. podium, but still a strong swim bodes well for the 4x2 relay coming up later this week. I think so as well. And, you know, with Townley, he's so young. And so any yes. experience that he can get on the international stage, especially in a heat like this, I mm -hmm. mean, it was a fast heat. Soon Yang touched the wall first. Leclo was in there second. Yeah. Um, and then Connor was third. Yeah. So the next for females, we had the 100 uh, backstroke. 100 backstroke was good. <laughs> <laughs> what an incredible race. Yeah. Kathleen Baker, she's so young, she's so green, she's so fresh. Yep. And, you know, Kathleen looked up to all of the, the great backstrokers from the United States for years and years. And to see her touch the wall in second place, get yeah. her hand on that wall and get a medal. Um, it's, I watched a, a small video of Kathleen Baker and David Marsh embracing David as her, oh. her club coach. And just the magic there, That's you know, so cool. how much work she put into that. So incredible swim. The smile on her face said it all. Great for her. And then Olivia Smoliga had an amazing swim as well. Personal best for yep. Olivia under that 59 barrier, which is amazing. I mean, yep. we have two backstrokers going 58 right now. That's incredible. Our 4x100 medley relay is going to be fast. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Men's hunter backstroke was, I mean, we had a 1-3 punch. You can't really ask for much more than that. We had Ryan Murphy, his first Olympic gold medal in Olympic record fashion. He was just a hair off of that world record. I thought we were going to see it. The elusive Pearsall <laughs> world record. I can't believe that. And Pearsall has been amazing at reaching out to those guys and he yeah. wants to see it be he's taken. a mentor to them for sure he definitely is and I think that there's a shot of Ryan Murphy getting this in the leadoff leg by the um, in the 4 by 100 medley for men. I completely agree there's yeah. still a chance he can get that world I record think so too and that'll be on uh, the last night of competition yeah. I believe the men's medley relay but you know we have a history of the men bringing home gold in yeah. this event and it dates back to what 1996 yeah yeah 96 yeah. they've won gold ever since then and then Plummer 30 years old finally gets his I first know. Olympic team Olympic birth and wins the bronze medal so, so many people were rooting for him yeah yeah it was great to see them embrace and just the emotion of the reaction on on their face was incredible yeah that one three punch yep the one three punch <laughs> okay so now though the, speaking of speaking <laughs> of a, a one three punch the same thing we saw Lily King which there was so much drama around this race and the thing that I loved the most about this is that Lily when it count when it counted when it mattered she got on the blocks and she put together an incredibly commanding swim from start to finish I agree <sighs> And usually, <laughs> I think the United States shies away from any kind of, you know, smack talk or yeah. controversy outside of the pool. But, you know, I don't think Lily King stepped out of her bounds. Yeah. I think it was very fair game. And, you know, she really did let her swimming yeah. do the most talking. And I, think so I feel like the entire, not just our country, the whole world was behind I Lily know. King. And she's been trending on Twitter. <laughs> just <laughs> all of it. <laughs> We love it. We lo and she's just full of fire. And, and with Katie Miley getting in there for a bronze yes. medal, she was kind of the outside smoke, was in there from the beginning. And that, that bronze could have been anyone's. It and, could have been. And Katie Miley came off that turn smoking fast yeah. and came in with that the one three punch. So incredible night of swimming for Team USA. Incredible. And I loved to see everybody's reaction to, you know, seeing Katie and Lily hug after and just the pure emotion. That's what Team USA is all about. Yeah. That's what the camaraderie is. You know, when these gold medals are on the line, they stand up and they take care of it and it was I'm just so pumped up still I know that we both have just been watching nonstop <laughs> all night yeah, yeah. I, I feel like the United States started out on night one strong yeah. and we have only picked up steam from here it's I night so three too. this is one of the best nights of swimming I think I have ever witnessed in yeah. my life and I look forward to the next five days. I know, I can't believe it. We're going to see, we had some semifinal swims tonight, so we're going to see Katie Ledecky in the 200 freestyle tomorrow, Michael Phelps in the 200 fly, and with these athletes who are starting to get a lot of swims, they're going to want to get as much recovery in as they can, you know, and so Katie obviously has been swimming a lot, you know, Michael still kind of coming down off that relay, and then um, this is his um, like first kind of full day. Yeah. So we're going to see them, I think, fresh tomorrow. So I think it'll be a great night. Yeah, they all they get to rest through the morning and yep. then a big strong swim at night tomorrow. So yeah. it'll be it'll be great. 
Don't forget to join in on all of the conversation in social media using hashtag Swim United. You can find us at USA Swimming on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, USAswimming.org, and our YouTube page. We want to hear from you, know where you're watching from, who you're rooting for, what are all the things that you're noticing out there at the Olympic Games. And you can also tweet at us, at Ariana Cookers and at Carolyn Joyce, using hashtag Swim United. That's it for day three of the Rio Olympic Games. We're going to tune in tomorrow for the prelims of day four. We'll see you then.